maybe the the Y one. Maybe they can still surround him enough. They can actually lay this trap down. Shadow is going to be caught and surrounded by two heroes on both sides. He's going to be forced to spin here, but Universe is going to hold off on the stun. They're going to be able to body block him. Side right in his face. They're going to be able to hit the stun, and that'll be the first blood. Evil geniuses, geniuses. Have the last hit under tower right now, which is rather hard. Faith Beyond may be caught here. The top lane, they're going to be able to leave with the disruption, quickly surround him, and Faith Beyond throws cogs out, but it doesn't matter. Look at why in the mid lane, though. He's eyeing that chicken, and this oh, comes straight down this and at the is bottle. big. That, yeah, Curry, your son, for it. He tries to throw it up to the trees, but there's no path available. That is a bottle down. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, early experience where you can get those higher levels of living armor. The male kind of needs it. Meanwhile, the top lane, they're going to go once again on to face beyond. Yo, there goes the paralyzing path. That was actually going to hurt quite a bit. Crit is in some serious trouble. They're going to be able to run him down quite easily, but Arteezy, he might be able to get innocence on the other side. Face beyond, face the backs with the cogs, but unfortunately, our poor witch doctor is still stuck in the trees. Meanwhile, left, pick up the wise of it. The alchemist still not level six, but they opt for the easier one. Instead, Zion is going to be played at the mercy here of two wing support to easily set up with the sun strike and a couple of shadow right clicks. Zai is down for the count three to three, five minutes in. They creating space on the other sides of the map, but now Universe is back. Faith Beyond. Thinking that maybe he can get a kill somewhere here in the jungle. Crit is going to be kind of stuck inside these cogs. Sunstroke is going to be coming in as well. And Alchemist doesn't even bother trying to help Crit. He's just going to try and do a little bit of ring around the rosy around the trees, but it doesn't work. Samael, well, he bows his head in unbelievable. Ever, Faith Beyond does constantly throw out rocket players. Why? In the wrong neighborhood. Yeah, he grabs the Illusion Rune, but he's quickly going to be gobbled up by a bunch of evil geniuses' heroes. Living Armor will help protect Crit er, for now. There is a Sun Strike ready to go. Let's try and catch Ice Ice, make sure he doesn't get an early Blink Dagger or anything like that. Crit sets it up with the Disruption. The TPs are actually going to come in here. Faith Beyond is going to be the leading TP. All ready to support us down, but he managed to catch Arteezy inside of the cog. Now his TP in from Y completes, but he can't really stop this Rage Up Light Stealer. At least not yet. Information to be able to take this Roshan, no problem, with the help of the Circle. And the information that they gleaned there was that there is no Slink Dagger on to the Slardar. Mm -hmm. And they know that they're waiting for that. They need... He's trying to set this trap. Faith Beyond realizes, uh oh, hey, hold up, I'm stuck here. What's happening? Disruption's gonna be laid out. He's gonna try and force Staff himself out of this one, but he's already been hit by the stun of Universe. Can't get the cogs down in time. He's trapped two heroes inside with him, so evil geniuses will be able to execute that gank. Because we're able to see in time, more likely than not, they did. However, two observe two supports are sitting there. They have been scanned out. Oh, Universe is going to be able to run into both of them. They're going to be able to get in and real quickly. Ice Ice is going to be next target. He got the Circle Wars down. The Overthrow is going to be able to stop Faith Beyond from being too disruptive. They're trying to finish off Ice Ice, but it gets so much done. He basically sold off our TG by getting those disables off. Now Universe has to try and TP away. He will be successful. No disables coming out there. Faith Beyond looking for the plus. He's carrying RTZ inside of him right now. Their tier two is about to be dropped by Surfer Wards. Nobody really wants to come forward, but instead they just deny. But actually, they get the jump. They already managed to get a blink. The voice that comes out from Faith Beyond is not going to be enough. Grid is going to be dropped on by a meteor. Just almost saves himself with a disruption. Not quite there. Still, though, a support. Control of the Radiant Jungle. They set up four Observer Wards around the map. Roshan is up. They have Slaughter on their team. So a lot of uh, potential opportunity for EG. Smoke straight to the heroes. They're going to be able to find Grid immediately. That's going to be the first one, but at the same time, They've already taken a support in a return. Universe and Arteezy find their initiation onto the Witch Doctor. Now Samael's gonna be coming in full out. Unstable concoction, but Universe is gonna be caught on the flash. Long range from Shadow is gonna be able to rip him apart. And now it's gonna be left with just the three man of evil geniuses. And Samael, he gets snatched up. Ice Ice gonna be able to grab with the jackal. Rocking inside with the cog. Definitely glass over the top. Clockwork disappears. And now Wings not feeling as comfortable as Samael and Arteezy turn and man fight. On through the Alchemist, but just not enough damage at this point to take him down. Man, that was nasty. You talked about, hey, they didn't want to get a gem. Like, there was so much potentially wings could have gotten out of this point. It's gonna be. There's the initiation. Lincoln is up on Blink. That's gonna be able to slow down some of it. The man to get the cog separating Arteezy from Blink. He's gonna be able to get a, some stuns outside. He's immediately blown up thanks to some help from the Shadow Shaman as he tried to come across for the overgrowth. The male's gonna be able to come forward. Slow down the girl. Nice! Crush out the universe, that blows down Shadow's retreat, but they can't quite keep up with him. Maybe it's gonna be Innocent who dies instead. Arteezy's rage not gonna be wearing out too quickly. He goes and fits, then he stops the kill. And it looks like Ice Ice is also gonna be caught here. The F5 damage, he gets ripped apart by evil geniuses. And there is only one buyback here on the clockwork. So Wings may just have to give up a lane of racks, if not more. And 
maybe the Alchemist or the Invoker can He has the Vanguard now, which is going to be going for that Abyssal Blade, which will give him some serious lockdown power to be able to keep one hero on the onset of a fight. Now he's got an Aegis as well on that top lane. They're going to have to start back already. Flint is going to be coming back. He starts leading things off with the Tornado, trying to push EZ back, but already on to the actual Raxes. Not Wings doing anything in return. Ice Ice is about to go uphill with his ward, so if Evil Genius is to be able to finish off this lane, Rax, they need to do it now and start getting back. Cast goes out, trying to slow down the Wings are looking to be able to try and make sure that Evil Geniuses can't actually back out and defend their top lane. Hoping if you make a trade of Rax, Rax RT is going to be forced back. Invoker so Evil Geniuses. With, in between the ice wall and the tornado rolling down the lane, two and a half minutes left on Aegis, they should be very happy about this opportunity that they've been granted. still in the middle of this fight. Melee Rack still at a thousand HP despite several minutes of sieging. How's it going, Cap? <laughs> it, it's going all right, man. All right, new headset, everybody. We're Woo! back. I'm sorry. I don't know if I went out on stream, but hello, theater. I love you guys. Jump in, universe. Infested up or TV popped up. They actually latch onto nothing there. They're going to try and get Ice Ice and Death. He's up. There's no physical damage coming out. Able Genius is saving Pot. Artisi, he gets the disrupt and a temporary reprieve. He's going to be forced out of the pod, but Samael, he's trying to create something. Universe goes in big time with a crush. Samael turns, but it's just not enough. The other side, it finishes up Universe and EG. They're lacking an offlaner now as they go for it for this push. So many of the heroes of Wings are low, but Artisi, he's trying to dare Wings to go on to him, and without the rage, they might just apply. They're moving forward. I turn see the male and set, but they've been taken out by the Shivas. Everybody's so low from wins. The damage over time from EG is too much to handle. Artisi dies. He gets zapped out by the shock. The male is still good, and he's going to be able to reach and up, particularly with that living armor. They are good, but Wings inevitably will be holding on to this melee rack. EG are trying to force it so badly, but Wings, they stand strong for now against the boy. Gotta beef it up. I mean, Artizi still needs uh, an Abyssal Blade of his own. Smoke coming in, crit. I Ice, Ice looking to make that initiation, but it came quite into the range is too fast. And now Ice is some serious trouble and a mid smoke shot. Now he sees these pops out. Hello, gonna be able to take up that support. But unfortunately, the close staff, oh no, of course that it actually stays in and puts him right on top of the support. Gobbles him down and backs away. The rest of the evil geniuses start surging forward. They see surge, but it's a snail's pace. And that Ice Wall keeps them from being able to come forward. Fake me on Tiffany Hero God is deep. Blink doesn't even blink, he just keeps on running. He knows his uh, his supports are all gone as his Zoplin is attacking so slow. But he's hitting relatively hard, it's really hard enough to take down this melee Rax in all due time. Baytheon still down for 30 seconds. The question is, are EG feeling lucky? Are they gonna go for the second high ground? Take that second lane of Rax with only 20 seconds left in the clock. Invoker still doesn't have his full toolkit. Failed so much, but Evil Geniuses seeming will keep up the pressure. They're going to be able to get both an Aegis and Cheese into their hands. I'm not sure who's going to be holding this, though. Lifestealer will go ahead and pick up the Aegis. Start setting up. They know they've got this uh, this big old Tier 3 tower. They can go ahead and start chipping it away with these illusions. They don't necessarily need to make any huge commitment. They're actually looking towards that range racks as well. Anytime they try and defend the range racks, get some damage on the tier three. But now the jump board comes forward. They're actually gonna pod push them out of the wards. Unfortunately, as there is a juggernaut, he just been exploded, and all of a sudden he's here. gonna be able to come forward and take out so many of these heroes. Both supports gonna be caught easily with the crush. All their whole play on the invoker now, but there's nothing he can do without the damage. Evil genius is swift. Comes through and takes this game one. Wings with nothing they can do but watch their ratchets explode and inevitably their ancient. Universe, as steady as always, getting that crush on the end onto Shadow. Shadow, he went full tanky 